When you're editing, you always want to have the maximum dynamic range. That way you can get, you know, the best photo in your edits. Well, in Lightroom, let me show you how. Will Simpson here and welcome to Exploring Photography. Editing is a big component in photography these days, especially in the digital age, your limits are fairly limitless. I mean, you're basically limited to the amount of data that's stored in the photo. So the more data in the photo, the more you can edit it. This is why you should always shoot raw, because the way I look at it is it's better to have and not need than need and not have. And your dynamic range is greatly affected by a raw format. If you shoot raw, your dynamic range is gonna be much wider. Dynamic range, just to remind you, is the range of colors from true white to true black and everything in between. So the bigger the range, the more editing capability you have. So how can you start your editing with the largest dynamic range possible? Well, that's easy. Let's get into Lightroom. So here we are in Lightroom with a completely raw image. This is actually a shot that I took up in Grayson Highlands at sunset one night in Virginia. Now, depending on your photo, the first thing you're probably gonna wanna do is drop the highlights. Let's say some people drop them all the way. I'm just gonna do 76 and raise the shadows. So this kind of gets your details back into the photo. To get the largest dynamic range in the photo, you wanna adjust the whites and the blacks. Now, if you move the whites back and forth, you can see what happens, but where's the right spot to put it in? That's the fun part. You want the maximum whites without losing data and the same with the blacks. You want the maximum blacks without losing data. There are two ways to do this. The first way is to hold Alt or Option and click on the whites. Then as you slide to the right, you'll see the whites come and get overexposed. So when you start seeing white on the black areas, that means you've lost all the data. So we're gonna pull it down until just before the whites go, so right there and then we'll do the same for the blacks, except we're gonna go left. Click on the blacks, now we have a white screen, we'll slide left just till we start seeing the blacks. See how we see all those, those are all true blacks. So we're gonna slide it all the way back till just before they all disappear. And there you go. You have your perfect dynamic range set for this photo. Now you might have to adjust them as you edit the photo, and of course it does come down to style. So this isn't like a blanket edit, but it is a good place to start. Now there is one other way that's even faster. Now let's go ahead and reset these. Click and hold option and then click reset tone. That'll just reset this section. So let's go ahead and adjust the highlights again, up the shadows again, get back to where we were. And then here's the fun part. Press shift and double click on the white slider. Boom, perfectly set. Do that on the blacks. Boom, perfectly set. So Lightroom knows where the max whites and the max blacks are. So if you let it work for you, you can just press shift and double click on it. Now, this does not work 100% of the time. Sometimes if you have an edited photo or a photo that just doesn't have enough information, this won't work that great, which is why I personally like to use the option key. Plus, I like to push it a little bit more. So if we click option on the whites, we'll see that there's no whites overexposed. So I personally like to push it until I just see a crack of white. And then on the blacks, I like to push it till I just see a crack of blacks right there. That's the area I like to edit in and I find that works best for my photos. And that's it. That's how to set your max dynamic range for your photos in Lightroom for you to start editing. And now you can just dive in there and give it the exact edit that you want knowing that you can edit exactly to the limits of that photo. This brings you one step closer to mastering editing. And that's a big thing these days. So if this helped you out, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, enjoy the journey that is exploring photography. Catch you guys later.